So now we're into the fun part. We're actually going to start forming letters. This first set of alphabet is a traditional calligraphy lowercase alphabet. So I'm going to take a piece of tracing paper and put it over the worksheet. And we're just going to go through the entire alphabet. I'm going to dip my nib into the ink. Knock off that excess. And start writing. So the A is essentially an oval and then a thick down stroke. Then up stroke, thick down stroke, back up thin, and a thick down stroke. One tip that I will give you is that when you're forming letters, let's say for instance A, when you write that first oval, make sure that you complete the oval before going back down with that down stroke. So you wanna complete drills or letter forms. Complete the first one before going to the next one. It makes for a better looking letter. And so for B, it's just the thick down stroke and then a circle. The down stroke and then the circle. And for C, you want to start with a thin up stroke, thick down stroke, thin up stroke. F can be a little tricky. So you want to start with a thin up stroke, up and over, thick down stroke, back up thin, and then a little kick out. So thin up stroke, up and over, thick down stroke, thin up stroke, and then a kick out. So another tip, what I just noticed is that the vent hole has no ink in it. So what I typically do is after every three or so letters, I just automatically just go back into the ink to ensure that I don't run out of ink while writing. G, circle. to just take your time. An H, thick down stroke. And up stroke, thick down stroke. I simply a thick down stroke, then up stroke and dot the I. In 
and J is like one of our fancy drills, thick downstroke, then upstroke, and dot the J. The letter K. Put some more ink on my nib. We're gonna start with a thick down stroke. For L, it's just a thick down stroke and transition back up to a thin up stroke. So thick down stroke, thin up stroke. For M, thick down stroke, thin up stroke, one hump, I call them humps. <laughs> Thick down stroke, first hump, second hump. And end is the same, it just has one hump. And O is very similar to our old, our old drill, just a little smaller. So you want to start on the right. With a thin up stroke, up and over, thick down stroke, transition back up thin. So a thin up stroke, up and over, thick down stroke, back up thin. And P, thick down stroke. And then a little circle. And Q, circle. Thick down stroke. Back up thin and a kick out. Car starts with a slanted thin up stroke. Thin up stroke, thick down stroke, back up thin. And S starts with a slanted thin up stroke as well. And T is just a thick down stroke, then up stroke like the L with the crossbar. Thick down stroke, then up stroke, crossbar. So for you, thick down stroke, then up stroke, and then another thick down stroke. B, thick down stroke, thin up stroke. And for this, 
little kick out at the beginning. You just light pressure, slant it, then transition to a thick down stroke and then back up with a thin up stroke. And for W, thick down stroke, thin up stroke, and then another hop. And for the letter X, thin up stroke, thick down stroke, back up thin, and then a slanted line across, which is thin all the way. So thin up stroke, thick down stroke, back up thin, and then a thin up stroke all the way across. And for Y, like the U, thick down stroke, then up stroke, and then a thick down stroke, up and over, then up stroke. And finally, the last letter of the alphabet, Z. You want to start with a thin up stroke, thick down stroke down, and then come back with a thick down stroke up and over, and thin all the way across. So thin up stroke, thick down stroke, thin, thin thick again, and transition back up thin. And there you have it, an entire traditional lowercase calligraphy alphabet.